Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and function limiters in Godot 3. Now function limiters, this isn't really a technical term. This is something that I'm calling it. But the idea here is that there's a bunch of functions that, that can limit the output, kind of restricting it. So the first one that we have is floor. And when you add a value to floor, it's gonna take whatever decimal point you have and it's gonna push it down. So 0 0.9 is gonna be zero. 0 0.2, is also going to be 0. And it's the same thing with the vector function. 0 0.9 is going to be 0. 0 0.2 is going to come out as 0. If you set up the 1, it'll actually show. There's the functions that help you retain a whole number. Ceiling is going to be very similar, but it's the opposite. So anything above 0 or past 0 is going to be 1. 0 0.9 is going to be 1. Now truncate this actually acts a lot like floor, but the idea here is that it removes all decimal points. Now with round, if it's a value of 0 0.5, it's going to round it down to 0. And if it's above 0 0.5, it's going to round it up to 1. Round even is technically exactly the same as round. The only difference is if you have an even number before you get a decimal point, it should round up at 0.5. And if it's an odd number, it's gonna round down at 0.5. Now the last main one we have to talk about is saturate. And a lot of people usually misunderstand this for saturation, like in color. But what this actually does is it clamps your values from zero to one, and it won't let you go outside of that range. With saturate, we have some other nodes that are very similar to it. So we have the scalar clamp and the vector clamp where you can set the range that you want if you want it below zero or above one. Your fraction functions, technically this makes everything a decimal point and it removes all whole numbers and you can never actually get to one. So in a way, the fraction function is also a clamp function. And then the normalize function, this is something we're gonna talk about more in the future. It's gonna take your input and it's gonna scale it to a zero to one range. All right, guys, that covers visual shaders and functional limiters. If you guys thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.